people. Welcome to Mature Sass Mask Monday edition. I am so glad that you stopped by and joined me. Now, before I start talking, let me go ahead and show you what we're going to be using today. Um, this is going to be kind of like a little twofer. I'm going to be using this um, eye lifting eye mask from my beauty spot because it has collagen and um, hyaluronic acid. And I'm going to pair it with this because this also has it. This is by Lano Cream. Hold on. Also, I'm going to be going to the eye doctor in about another week. Tell me what you think about um, these frames. These were just some Tom Ford frames that I, I've had for a long time. No, never mind. I'm not going to keep them. <laughs> so, I want new frames. So these are by, this is by Lano Cream. It's a soothing face mask with New Zealand Manuka honey. It's enriched with hyaluronic acid, collagen, aloe vera, and argan oil. So these two together should be very nourishing. All right, another thing you probably have noticed, Laura, this is just for you. I uh, just got it. Let me, hold on. You guys know I start talking and then I forget. Let me go ahead and clip everything. Oh, by the way, this is a sheet mask. It has nothing to do with uh, being a peel-off mask that needs to dry fast. But I don't care. I brought this in anyway. <laughs> I got this from my friend Kim. It was sent to me in some friend mail. I'm using it today along with my... Uh, quartz roller. So let's just give these two a little clip. But as I was saying, Laura requested for me to do a video on um, how I do my head wraps. And uh, so I'm definitely going to do it. Laura, my two from Quaily Girls came in. The fabrics are beautiful. Oh, the colors of the Kente cloth are just amazing. So, um, I promise I'm going to get the, I'm going to get it filmed this week, Laura. I promise. I don't know why in the world. Remember guys, I said, aren't those cute? It's almost a Tiffany blue. Um, Remember when I said I was going to be doing two videos a week? Mask Monday and Sassy Saturday? It's not working out to be that, is it? Even Ella said something like, Oh my gosh, are you starting to do those videos every single day too? No, I'm not, uh, Ella. No. But... When I got my um, UV LED lamp in from Amazon, it was time to take off those nails anyway. I was like, okay, where'd I put the mask? It slid down in the sink. Um, it was time to take those gel nails off. And, I mean, they were still going strong, except when I went outside and started doing a little work around the shrubs and stuff. I um, kind of chipped a couple of them. But those nails had been on for like 20 days. So, that polish is really good. So, anyway. Hold on, because this is very drippy. Oh, speaking of drippy and icky. Did you all catch Jean Louine's birthday video yes, uh, two days ago? Yeah, it's nice and cool. Mmm, it smells really good. It has a very clean and fresh smell to it. 
I want to see what that Manuka honey is going to do, though. Okay. So. I'm going to tell you all right now. If this starts moving around, you know how I can't stand that above my lip. So if it starts moving all around, it'll get torn. <laughs> What's on this side? All right, so what I was saying was, um, I think what I was saying, you know I can't stop and then catch back up. Um, Laura G over on Instagram. I noticed that a lot of people reach out to me on Instagram for me to do things over here, which I mean, that's good. I just have to make sure that I keep checking Instagram. <laughs> oh, shoot. I didn't bring a straw in here. Uh oh. Hmm. Peppermint mocha. So, um, the two head wraps from Coily Girls came in. So, I will be doing the video sometime this week on that. But what I was, oh, I know what I was saying. I just got so caught up in trying to get all the, everything filmed because I took the uh, old gel polish off. And actually, on yesterday, you would have seen the second one where I did this look of, um, the scandalous, which is kind of like a burnt orange and then white. And then this is kind of like a tan color for um, your beauty, I think is what it was called. And I absolutely love these colors together. So if you notice, um, remember it was kind of clumpy a little bit. So all that I did was I took a really thick um, emery board. And I, um, oh, this is nice and cool. Had it in the fridge. Um, and so I, um, <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. It's something about these names. Oh, the Emery board. So I kind of shaped them because I had kind of had it on a little bit messed up. What I mean by messed up is that some of the polish was touching like my skin because I'm not a professional and I don't do it like the girls in the salon. So some of it, if you get even like a little bit of uh, polish like on your, your skin, once you put it under that, you know, UV lamp to cure, it's going to make it hard right there. So what I had to do is I had to go back through and reshape them. But I think that they look fantastic, colors and all. So that video went up. And then, um, oh, somebody, somebody in one of my com uh, video commented that, um, my niece was a mess. Yes, she is. She's an absolute mess. I uh, started the the nail video, and the reason why it was titled uh, Nails in Virtual School, because at the very beginning when I started to film that, she called. So I was with her for like 20 whole minutes at least <laughs> doing schoolwork. And so then I was like, okay, should I go ahead and film the video or just wait and calm down? Because, oh, guys, you just don't understand. She's like all over the place. But, and I guess the difference is when you had your own class, your students knew what to expect, you know, because from day one, you virtually train your kids. You really do know that, right? teachers train their kids so from day one for about the first three weeks of school you put them in a routine this is what I expect from you this is what your responsibilities are here's what my responsibilities are we're a team to get you educated and um, 
And so they understand what you're expecting from them to pay attention when you're teaching. <laughs> she had, I looked up and there was like this foot. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> and she was, oh my God. I have to laugh to keep from crying. I was like, what are you doing? And she said, it's my foot. I said, but I know what it is, but why is it up at the camera? I don't understand what you're doing when you called me to ask me for help. You need to be paying attention and serious about it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm going to have to talk to her mother. Because what I want to know is where she goes and hides when Tasia calls me. Because <laughs> she's nowhere to be found. Oh. Uh, so, anyway... Sorry guys. This feels really good. <laughs> okay. Oh, and let me not forget this. It has nothing to do with the sheet mask, but I've got to do it, Kim. I love this. <laughs> it is so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Look at the bling on it. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Kim. I love it. Oh, that feels nice. You know what? It's like in the 80s here already, guys. And so, even though I have the air on, this just feels so cool against my face. Oh, love it. So, yeah, it's been in the 80s. It's been beautiful out. I think I might go out for a little bit. I try not to because I know I'm going to get in trouble when I go out. I went and took, well, actually... I ordered um, the blue and white top, you know, the blue and white, it was from Crown and Ivy, I think, um, because it just seemed like it was a little bit snug across the chest. It fit, as you guys could see, but it just seemed like it was going to be a little tight, and I don't like my clothes snug like that. Um, so anyway, I went to Belk to take that back. I ordered the other one. Um, online because I get free shipping. Oh, by the way, I've got two videos to, well, three, because I'm going to need to film the hair to, I mean, the head wrap. I'm going to film, I got a uh, friend mail from beautiful, sweet Amber. Amber, I'm sorry, I'm getting to it, I promise. It'll be up tomorrow. I'm going to film yours first. I got friend mail from Amber, and then I have a little wee belt call. I took that top back and bought a couple more things. I, d I know. I know. I know. So anyway, that's why I don't venture out too much because I know I'm, I'm going to fall weak <laughs> to my plan of not buying. But anyway, so I have, and it's, it's nothing much. It's just a necklace, a top. What? Oh, two tops. A necklace and two tops. But then I bought um, and, oh, an item from HSN, which tells you I need to stop watching it before I go to bed. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, Ulta had a little sale, so I got some more um, eyeliner, and I got a, an eyebrow powder, because you guys know when I do my brows, I put a pencil on, and so I got a powder in kind of like an auburn color, because as you know, I've colored my hair for the spring and summer and so it's got a lot of redness to it so i'm gonna put a little bit of that powder in my brows let me know if you want to see a little tutorial on it not really a tutorial but just how i do it okay so what else happened this week oh hold on i knew i was forgetting some so busy getting my fan and my scissors and my quartz roller perfect um what was I saying oh in a couple of videos back you remember I was telling you about that beeping that you kept hearing when I was taking the the gel polish off um 
there are two boxes in the ceiling, like 12 feet up in the air, that they expect for me to be able to get to whenever one of those batteries needs to be changed. It's not happening. So anyway, <laughs> about a year ago, that exact same tech, because I recognized him, even though he had his mask on, I recognized him and I said, did you change that in the, the last day? He said, yes, ma'am, it was me. He said, I remember. So I said, so what was that to? He said, that was something about, glass break I don't know anyway that sensor battery had to be changed at that point I said so what is this one he said it's for your fire like a fire alarm I said okay so he got up and he changed it he was very sweet and um and I said so can you make sure that you put in that because you know he had this little pad thing for me to get ready to sign it so he said he said yes ma'am I'll make a note of it not to charge me because I'm not paying that $99 fee. I'm just not. And, you know, you guys may say, oh, well, you already knew that, that they, they that, that that's what they, ch I don't care. I didn't pay it when he changed the glass break one. I didn't change it when he, when he did the fire one. And when the next time it goes out, I'm not paying it then either. I'm not going to pay them $100 to change a battery for five minutes. I'm just not. Next time, I may just have my friend to come over and do it. I'm sure, you know, he would come and do it. But anyway, I wasn't paying $100 to get that battery changed. I just wasn't. That's just me. So anyway, what other video did I do? Oh, when I did the video where I did um, a little haul, thank you guys so much, even though I haven't done it yet. Thank you for your recommendations for me to go and get um, a magic racer. Now, you know what? I went to the grocery store where I'm sure that they're sold. Did I think to put it on my list? No. I went to Dollar General two times this week. Did I think to go? And I went in the laundry section because I bought some laundry things. <sighs> See what I mean, guys? This time has my mind all just crazy crazy and I don't know why because it's only one hour difference but I am all thrown off I don't remember when Recy well recycling is this week so I know that I'll, I'll be on the lookout for it but I don't remember trash pickup time I don't remember if I you know what day I'm supposed to upload a video uh, my friend Ann called me on Friday wanting to go out to Safe Harbor. Now, you know I about cringe because I wanted to go so bad. And I said, listen, I procrastinated. So I've got to get this video edited for Sassy Saturday. Yeah, it was Friday and I was just now editing it. And um, I said, I have to finish editing that and finish editing um, a masking video. She said, a what? I said, don't worry about it. You won't understand. <laughs> I said, <laughs> It's somebody's birthday, and I've got to do a, a, I said, I did a mask, and now I have to edit it. So she said, oh, well, actually, you know, you're the you're the one that's always planned out, and I'm the one you see. I just fly by the seat of my pants. I just thought, okay, let me call Linda. Let's go get some seafood. I said, I would have loved to have gone. It was like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It was beautiful. It was like 85 degrees. It was a beautiful day. It would have been so perfect at the beach. I didn't get to go. So anyway, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to text her probably when I finish this video. I'm going to text her and say, what day this week do you want to go to lunch? <laughs> I need a plan. You know, and I think teaching school for 36 years puts you in that frame of mind that you need to have plans because we had to do lesson plans so you knew each day what you were going to be teaching at least I did I know a lot of people still don't plan their days out and I plan ahead you know like where I need for my kids to be going um so you know if we're doing you know just basic multiplication I'm already planning for when they had to do two and three digits yes my third graders had to do two not three digits by three digits, but say like three digits by one by the end so that they're ready for fourth grade. And that's another thing. I need to talk to my niece because I just think Tasia should be having harder math for right now because she's in fourth 
And a lot of the math that I'm doing with her, I taught to my third graders. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. But what I was saying, see how my mind just flips and flops all over the place? Sorry, guys. But what I was saying is, those of you that said for me to try the magic eraser on the back of that jacket, I'm going to do it. Um, I might need to run something to the post office and check my P.O. box. And so I'll make sure that I run by the store. I don't like to go to in Walmart. It's just too many people and they're everywhere. I might just go into the grocery store and see if they have one in their laundry aisle. But anyway, I'm going to try the magic eraser and somebody else recommended... I don't think it was alcohol. I don't know what... I'll have to go back in my comments and look. Somebody recommended something at something else to wipe it with but anyway i'm gonna try it i will and then uh another i think it was uh tara said to just do a diy now tara i could but i know it wouldn't come out looking as pretty like as ambers and stuff she said just like do a diy on the back of the jacket all of these are great suggestions thank you all you're great um i think i'm gonna probably end it because Oh, yeah. And I said I was going to try not to talk so much on this video. It didn't work. <laughs> but anyway, um, oh, I know what I wanted to say. Kayla, when I did Sassy Saturday and you commented, I, well, I know that you're probably noticing this too, <laughs> but she was telling me she had to go back and look at the outfit. She had to go back in the video and look at the outfit because she was so honed in on, you know what she was looking at, that leopard handbag. Well, I have you to know, Ella was looking at it too, so y'all two might have to duke out over it. <laughs> and you know what? I could have I could have given her one for her birthday. Ella's birthday is coming up. It's April 1st. So uh, it's so funny because Jean Louise, you and Ella are like two peas in a pod. I know me personally, I would not have been able to hold on to that present like you did for like all those days because it said don't open it to your birthday. I would have totally opened it. <laughs> I don't know. I might have been able to stand it. I, I doubt it. But I, what I was going to say is I sent Ella's birthday present by mail because I wanted it to get there before April 1st because I you know you never know with the mail and stuff and so uh she got it and she texted me and she said oh thank you for my birthday present and um and she said her husband was trying to see what it was and I she said I told him I'm not opening it till my birthday I'm like girl I wouldn't be able to do it I don't think but anyway oh another thing um you remember the yellow earrings that I had with the silver? Well, guess who has some very similar? And she has the necklace that matches. Ella. She said that Belk had sent her, I think it was $2, $10, uh, $10 coupon or something. She got the whole set for $10. I'm like, wow. I said, are you sure? She said, yeah. Yeah, it was like Christmas time or something. But anyway, we might have to have those on one day and show you guys. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up because I see now, even though I said I was going to do this video for like the 15 minutes for the mask, it's already like 23 minutes. So thanks for stopping by. And uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe before you go. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up for the video and also hit that notification bell that will alert you every time that I upload a video. Make sure you're staying safe and healthy out there. Go out, have some fun because many places, I saw Kayla, you were outside in the sunshine and uh, just get out and have a good day and uh, I'll see you real soon. Keep it sassy.